Yo, what is going on YouTube? What looks like a promising season with only one loss in the regular season. I just need two more wins to make it into the playoffs and then three more wins to get a first round bye. And you know that's been a long time since we've been in the Super Bowl, let alone a long time since we've been in the playoffs. So I'm trying, I'm trying to just get my foot in the door playing against the Redskins. I see this guy has Calvin Johnson. He has a few legends. He has Vincent Jackson. But it just felt like I could win this game. So we go on second and 19. He rolls out the pocket. I know where he's going to already. But Khalil Mack is no free safety Calvin Johnson. Khalil Mack is not going to go up there and, and snag that ball out the air because even though Khalil Mack's about like 6'2 or something like that, his jumping is pretty pitiful. I mean, he's a linebacker. He's not a safety that's going to go up and snag the ball out the air. And on third and three, I just ran out of options and I threw it up. So this game's already this game's already not starting good. First and ten, my opponent gets the ball back and throws it off to the final addition, Alshon Jeffrey, who I think is a great receiver for for his price. So we're starting we're starting the game off down by 14, doing a little dump off to Greg Olson. So I said, okay, let, let let's just start playing smarter. Let's just start playing more efficiently. Getting that first down with Mike Evans. Second and seven, dropping back, just jumping it off to Marshawn Lynch, hitting him with the little juke. You see, if I would have connected with that juke, that probably would have gone for six. Third and three, finding Marcel Reese, and I just wanted to get the first down there. So on second and ten, rolling out the pocket. Well, well, yeah, I wanted to roll out the pocket, but his pressure was there, so I decided to just run the other way, slide with Jameis Winston. But on third and three, couldn't really find anything, so I decided to throw away which made it 4th and 3 and I just went for the field goal right now I'm just trying to get my points to keep it a close lead what if say what if I would have gone for the 4th down and I didn't get it he probably would have took the ball down the field and scored now then I would have been down 21 to 0 so on 4th and 4th and 14 my, my opponent's going for it and that is a big big no no huge huge big no no second and 17 for me I'm trying to get into the end zone to score, but I also want to play smart. So I just dumped it down to Marshawn Lynch, who gets close to the first down. And on third and one, just pounding it with beast mode. I know beast mode is going to get me the yards that I need. Third and goal, I tried to strike it into Greg Olsen, but his opponent, my opponent read that very, very beautifully. So it's down to fourth and goal, and I decided to kick another field goal. Be down by only eight. That's deep down the middle. Second and ten, my opponent drops back. I saw that, but I just couldn't get there with Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Thirty inches. He's trying to look the score before the half is over, as he knows that I do get the ball back in the second half. Second and nineteen, dropping back, going deep. It's a two against one situation. Deion Buchanan comes down with the ball, and finally things are looking in my favor. I think I'm going in the half with the momentum. I think that I have. I think that I really have the momentum on my side. So on second and nine, I'm going deep. I think I. I thought I saw something, but fucking Traymond Wayne's comes out of nowhere and picks that ball off. But that's okay because on the very next play, I'm using Traymond Wayne's myself and I baited my opponent to throwing it to Calvin Johnson. Why would he do that? That was crazy how I did that. If you didn't see that, man, run that back. See how I baited him into throwing it over there, man. So we had the ball back. I think I have all the momentum in the world. So I decided to just chuck it out to Mike Evans, but he does not come down with the ball. So on fourth and six, I go to my go-to play, going to Mr. Reliable, a.k.a. Greg Olsen, who gets me first down and is out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So on first and ten, baking like I'm doing a passing play when I'm really running to the left, and Marshawn Lynch has blockers, a convoy into the end zone, but does get brought down. He's pushed out of bounds at the four-yard line. So when in doubt, while you're in the goal line, just try to punch it in. I punch it in with Jonathan Stewart, who I hope has an amazing year with the Carolina Panthers, as he will be the starting running back. Two-point conversion. I just lob it up to Greg Olson, who does come down with the catch. So we came down, we came back down by 14. And right now, I feel like we're gonna win this game. I feel like all the momentum's on our side. We're playing at home. My opponent does hit me with the screen pass, which I was not expecting. Second and nine, he just runs it to the right, and he's getting first down at the first down. But I'm not worried at this point because there's still a lot of time left in this game. He gets another good chunk of yards on a run, and then on second and two, does get the first down there. So it's at this point my opponent does turn on true clock on as he runs to the right. As I was totally expecting a passing play, he basically surprised me with the run play. 
Second and 11, just dumps it down to Calvin Johnson. And it looks like my opponent's trying to win the game. But on fourth and three, he goes for a silly stick play. And Brashad Breeland jumps the route. As I do get the user pick right there. So I'm at my own 14 yard line, but I'm not worried because I do believe that we could drive down the field and kick a field goal. Second and three, finding Devontae Parker for the first down. First and 10, doing smart passes that might get a good amount of yards. Second and two, dropping back, finding Greg Olsen who avoids the tackle and does get brought down at the 42 yard line. Second, second and 10, dropping back, thinking that I had something with Mike Evans, but Traymond Waynes jumps her out, gets the ball at his highest point, and brings the ball all the way back down to my 32 yard line. So with the clock winding down, my opponent does kick the field goal. And he walks out of here with the W. Only a three-point lead after being up by 14-0. We did come back. But it's just the fact that I did a boneheaded decision at the end of the game. And I was this close to winning the game. So playing another game at home, I need to win two more games in order for me just to get into the playoffs. Looking at my opponent's team, he does have the 99 John Elway. I'm not too worried about his team yet. I see he has, a, I think, the July 4th Larry Fitzgerald. Still not worried. Mike Dicker, not worried. You know, but it's still, it's still we get into the defense. 99 J.J. Watt and 99 Bruce Smith. Now I'm really worried. Mar Mar uh, Marcel Darius, Luke Keekley, uh Clay Matthews. Going to the secondary, 99 Joe Hayden and Charles Woodson. Whoa. Then that's the July 4th Ronnie Lott, and then the 99 overall Dion Buchanan. But I still feel like I can win this game, not worried at all, until the first play of the fucking game. My opponent goes deep to Odell Beckham Jr., and I made the mistake of trying to go for the interception instead of trying to swat that ball away. It's crazy because swatting balls in some situations is better than going for the interception. It's a safer route, but then at the end of the day, that could, that could harm you too. Just anything can harm you. As I fumble the ball, and this game is looking exactly like last game, but on first and ten, my opponent just chucks it up, and Traymond Waynes, yo, Traymond Waynes is having a hell of an episode. Like, seriously. He's having a hell of an episode right now. But like I was saying before, in some situations, no matter if you try to go for the interception, if you try to swat the ball down, even though swatting the ball down is the safest route, you can still get hit with that OP cheese, that OP catch where you, that receiver just gets that OP animation and catches the ball over you, which is going to be that way in Madden 16. Now, there's going to be some situations where the DB does try to swat the ball down and the DB, you know, does try to, you know, instead of playing the ball, he plays the receiver's hands. But still, it looks like that's going to be in Madden 16 where guys are going to get crazy, crazy catches. Especially like with if they're playing with the Giants or if they're playing with the Lions or playing with the Cowboys and they have uh, Des Bryant or, or, or Odell Beckham Jr. Or, or Calvin Johnson. They're going to get that animation because those guys have amazing spectacular catch. And oh my gosh, the user pick is real. Rashad Breeland, I baited my opponent into throwing that and watched me showboat into the end zone. As we tie the game right there, so right now it's the play of our defense that's keeping us in the game. Like I was saying before, as my opponent goes deep, deep to Mike Dicker and it is intercepted by HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix. HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix is having himself a hell of a game. That's his second interception of the game. Third and ten, I tried to throw it up to Odell Buckham Jr., but it doesn't quite get there. But yeah, man, it's 16. It might be that way because I know uh, uh, Old Dell Beckham Jr. has 98 spectacular catch, I'm assuming. And Calvin Johnson, I don't want to talk about his spectacular catch. So you know it's going to be OP, but that's something you just have to live with. But back to the gameplay, as my opponent does get the fourth down conversion. Second and 10. Oh my gosh, Young Buchanan. That's not what I paid over 100K for you to do. I didn't pay for you to drop interceptions. So my opponent is just striking down the field. He's just going down the field. And this is what I'm talking about. Joe Hayden is in the perfect position. Joe Hayden is in the perfect position. How does Odell Beckham Jr. get that over him? That's gonna, We're going to see a lot of that. I was pissed off right there, but that's Madden 15 for you. And I know we're going to see a lot of that in Madden 16. But I do strike goal on this play as I'm now in striking distance and kicking the field goal before the half is over. As I do get that pass off to Devontae Parker. And on 4th and 10, 
trying to get close as I can, and I'm going deep, and I see Mike Evans beat his man, but Mike Evans does not get to the ball. Jameis Winston, oh, a little bit overthrows it, and there goes Ha Ha Clinton Dix again. Ha Ha Clinton Dix is having himself a heck of a game right now. It's just for, oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> Ha Clinton Dix, it reminds me of that NFC Championship game where he had three interceptions that game. But then somehow the Packers go on to lose. I think they had the game won. But anyways, back to the gameplay. Third and 15. Cannot get that pass off. And this is where I start to panic because nothing's going good. I'm in these third and long situations. I'm not running. I'm not using Marshawn Lynch. I'm trying to just chuck it deep as he's doing to me. And as he finds Larry Fitzgerald, Hayden got a bounce as Joe Hayden got his jersey turned around. Joe Hayden got shook out of his brain. Crazy. And on second and eight, running there with Darren McFadden. First and ten, hitting me with that screen as I baited him again. Yo, we have to win this game now. We got to time this game up when we have to win it. That was that was just a beautiful ass play. That was seriously a beautiful ass play. We have to go down the field and, and like tie the game up. Seriously. Another pass. Another hitch route to Mike Evans. First and ten, dropping back. Finding Marshawn Lynch right there as he gets brought down to the 40-yard line. Second and two, just playing smart right now, which I am like Greg Olsen getting out of bounds. First and ten, handing it off to Marshawn Lynch as he finds a pretty, pretty big-ass hole. So I decide to roll out the pocket on first and ten. I'm finding Devontae Parker, and everything's just looking beautiful now. Everything's looking like I can score. Third and goal, I'm trying to run it in with Jameis Winston, but J.J. Watt runs me down in our fourth and goal. I see, I'm seeing nobody here, and I, and, I, and I just made a bad, bad read. So on third and ten, we do stop him. Oh my gosh! If we would have gotten the fumble there, we would have had the ball at like the ten yard line instead of him punting to me. And I throw an ill-advised pass on third and ten because I ran. I was running out of options. I really was running out of options. Second and fourteen is about like thirteen seconds left. He decides to chuck it. The ball short, and Rashad Breeland. Gets the interception. I'm thinking to myself, I could get an interception return, but I should have ran out of bounds instead of trying to get an interception return because I would have gotten more yards. Yeah, would have put me closer. And then Jameis Winston has a fucking arm on him because Jameis Winston was throwing everybody. He was overthrowing everybody today. But we do get the loss here, meaning no more playoffs, no more nothing. But that's okay. We'll always try next season. I'll, I'll decide to start just one more season and try to see if I can make it to the playoffs. Finally, bring back the Super Bowl to squad NSG because you guys have been waiting for a while, and I had to do it for you guys.